большой футбол. Мадридский Реал приезжает в гости к Манчестер Юнайтед. Это одна восьмая Лиги Чемпионов. Команды, команды четырежды встречались между собой. Я буду вместе с, с вами в этот вечер. Я честно вам признаю, что такого матча э, мир, может быть, и видывал. Да, и все вспоминают то, что было совсем недавно, в 2003 когда они здесь сыграли 4-3. И когда Реал по сумме двух матчей прошел дальше. Да, были матчи, может быть, и серьезней. Но футболистом мира, действующим, что он не раз показал уже в этом сезоне, встречаясь с другим лучшим футболистом, который хватал золотые мячи просто как конфетки из вазочки, Лионелем Месси. Раз за разом Мадрид выигрывает классику. Это случилось и в чемпионате. Вроде как уже никому не нужный матч с точки зрения турнирной интриги. Вроде как и можно было отдохнуть перед Манчестером, но они вышли и победили. Probably bottom of the in England are always pretty strong. So I mean it's not getting any easier and for a near perfect player. It feels like the trophy itself is at stake. After the one all in Madrid, Real have to score. Nil-nil will put United through with that uh, away goal scored by Danny Welbeck. But under Jose Mourinho. Here he goes. Right into the wall. Even more than usual. Yeah, there's a, a little bit of motion creeping in, isn't there? And Jose Mourinho and Real Madrid getting through the final. Well, all the years we've had it, nobody, nobody is bigger than this club. And Sir Alex Ferguson thinks there's the right reason not to play any of them all over the world. But it all goes well for Manchester United. Real trying to get tighter. Well, they go through if they don't. Now I know that will change her. Sure, it will from, from time to time, but as team set up, that's the bare truth. Well, there's a, an injury problem here for Manchester United. Ozil, see, they go through, but it's not really in their makeup no. to sit on matches uh, at Old Trafford, is it? Over the shoulders yeah. when he was asked, the manager. Absolutely, a lot of talk now for a long time, but when he was called, it, he's dead right. Kicks the stop by Xavi Alonso. Ronaldo. Ryan Giggs pairing back, recognise the responsibility, just united. Ronaldo just darts off, trying to run off for Rafael here. Gets his cross in, and it... Ronaldo, blocked by Vidas. Higuain coming short, Cristiano Ronaldo trying to run in behind here, and he's done that. There was no flag. Caught Manchester United out there. Right. Howls of uh, complaint around Old Trafford. No sympathy from the referee for the home side, and Cristiano Ronaldo covers the ground. Right. Di Maria will have to go off. He's uh, come to a, a standstill, certainly not the... Years ago, just adds to the, the glamour and show here tonight, doesn't it? To, uh, Quantrao hurt Manchester United before with Milan, has Kaka Ronaldo. And he's picked a team here that have pretty much nullified Cristiano Ronaldo, just one dart in behind that he couldn't finish off. Higuain by the button. Now, here is CR7. Looking for Kaká. Running to through the centre with Hugain. Also has come out on this right side as we thought. Kaká would be more dangerous coming through the middle. Too deep and just invite pressure. They didn't get it right that time, Real Madrid, but they've certainly got the capacity to play those that would give and goes around the penalty area and get in. That's only been playing really in front of Manchester United. Ronaldo. He can him space wherever possible. Ferdinand goes out with him. Here, the former Manchester United star. Did great there, Fernando. Alonso. Got it through this time. Ronaldo wasting no time in having a shot blocked, though, by... He's found by a more orthodox means by Javi Alonso. Ronaldo. 
Xavi Alonso. Ronaldo. Referee's not going to give. Ronaldo. Well back. Taking on Carrick. Kaká. Ronaldo. Now they have to get back and defend. Modric again. Ronaldo. Rafael right on his case. Yeah. Manchester United technical area. That might be slipping away from them. Higuain! It could well be slipping away from them. Cristiano Ronaldo will not celebrate. That was the same in the Bernabeu. But what a moment for him and for Real Madrid. Because Manchester United now need two. Two more, I mean. Fantastic goal from Ronaldo, it has to be said. Sharp as attack when it looked as if the initial shot. You can see it as he turns here and also plays back in. Hugain, he's managed to get himself on the far side and believed he followed in and got his rewards, but it's heartbreaking for Manchester United. They don't deserve to have dropped two goals in the last round. Intercept there. Ronaldo. Got huge respect for Manchester United and rightly so. Yeah, and the heat of the battle there after scoring his goal, you can be forgiven for celebrating because it's such an important one that's forward. Take chances like that. But this one hasn't worked. Alonso. Ronaldo. Kaká gets there before. Giving it straight to Modric. Ronaldo. Hashimi, the trademark in this stadium. Sometimes you can get those through He's looking level. at the ball. And here is a chance for Cristiano Ronaldo to seal it. The whistle with Manchester United's frustration. Ronaldo has a go at Vidic. Sami Kadira, Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> Who's just trying to get it across the face of the goal, they're really trying to squeeze it inside the near post. Only he really knows. And and the very nearly went for the cross, too, didn't he? Left no, I think he was looking for the cross yeah, to see. Tactically off the post, and then, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo, whose goal decided the tie. But Manchester United's anger will last a lot longer than their protests at the end of the evening. You know, Ferdinand, with some dignity at the end offering a handshake, but it was a bitter pill to swallow. Real Madrid roared on when that decision went their way and got the goals after Nani had been dismissed and got the place in the last eight of the UEFA Champions League. 2-1 to Real Madrid on the night, 3-2 on aggregate. They knock out, controversially, Manchester United.